Hey guys, what is up? Harrison here from the National Gaming Career, and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to get GBA for iOS. Look at that. Fully working and all that good stuff. New event available. For iOS 8.3. And this also works on the 8.4 braided versions. It's not loading. Just uh, turn the menu. Let's load another ROM. Come on, red. There we go. As you can see, this emulator is back up and running perfectly, and this is the legit GBA for iOS, as you saw. All right, but anyway, let's go ahead and get down to how to, you know, get this bad boy. So first thing you want to do, you're going to want to do is head over to iEmulators.com, and really the first thing you're going to see is that GBA for iOS 2.1 is finally back. Thank the Lord. There we go, right there. Download it here. So just click the bar. Or no, you got to click the, got to click here, and then go down. Oh, and let me just show you I'm on the latest firmware real quick. Probably do that. Um, about right there. I was 8.4. I'm actually on beta 3 of the 8.4 iOS update. All right, let me just... Come on, focus. There we go. So, yeah, let's go back over to i emulators. This is a Safari application, by the way. Add the home screen. There you go. Click on it. <clears throat> You're gonna click on the bar. Click install. Go through this thing. Don't forget to subscribe and all that good stuff. Install GBA for iOS. Install. Just go back in my games folder. Show you that it is in fact installing again. Going through all the way, way, and boom, it's working. And well. Apple finally decided to agree with Riley Tetsit apparently. So, now we can play awesome games like Tekken Advance, which is what I'm going to play. I'm actually going to play it like this. I'm just going to do one match. All right, so that's enough of that, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please have a like, please have a like, subscribe, and uh, well, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great rest of the day and week. Bye-bye.